we have a main event for the April 22nd UFC Fight Night card, and it is Sergey Pavlovich versus Curtis Blades. This matchup is super interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. For me, it's more of like a 50-50 split down the middle because of the KO power and the range that Sergey Pavlovich is kind of operating at and the takedowns of Curtis Blades. This one should be super interesting. I'm going to be doing an early prediction and breakdown for this. I'm going to break down how these guys physically match up against each other, and I'm going to break down... Uh, how I think the fight will go. So let's get right into the video. We have Sergey Pavlovich 17 and 1 and Curtis Blade 17 and 3. Sergey Pavlovich is one year uh younger than Curtis Blades, will be one inch shorter, will be about weigh about five pounds less than Curtis Blades at 255, and we'll have a four inch reach advantage with a one inch leg reach disadvantage for the last few fights. Sergey Pavlovich has knocked out Tai to Yuvasa and Derek Lewis all rather pretty quickly in the first round. Same thing with Shamil Adarakamov knocked him out pretty quickly i am going to discuss the alistair overeem fight in a second after i go over curtis blades last few matchups so uh, for curtis blades uh, he won his last fight against tom aspinall aspinall by a knee injury i wish I, we kind of got to see that one a little bit more but we didn't because they, they were kind of going pretty high it looked like someone was going to get ko'd that round but sadly he got stopped because aspinall hurt his knee so uh, before then he beat chris Dawkins, which everyone is doing and then uh, beat Jarzino Rosen strike uh, by using his wrestling and things like that. So, and then also lost to Derek Lewis right before that by a KO uppercut. I'm sure all of you guys have seen that. Uh, but for this one, for Sergey Pavlovich, I'm kind of going to look at, I guess I don't necessarily need to look at it, but I guess let me look at how long ago this fight was. So, but for Alistair, the Alistair Overeem fight, it's about probably like three years ago because his, that fight was what, 2018? November 24th so that fight was a while ago in that fight basically Sergey Pavlovich got taken down like it kind of exposes wrestling a little bit against Alistair Overeem he did actually do a good job initially defending the takedowns he's actually looking for takedowns I believe Alistair Overeem shot for like one or two right before then and Pavlovich actually stuffed it really well but Alistair Overeem was eventually able to trip and for Curtis Blade, a guy like Curtis Blades, he does utilize a lot of trips in general. A lot of heavyweights do that too because they're just big guys. You kind of just want to tip them over. But again, for Curtis Blades, he kind of can be caught. So against guys like Derek Lewis, like his losses have been against Derek Lewis and Francis Ngannou, two of the biggest power punchers in that division. And you can honestly put Sergey Pavlovich up there also, and especially the way Sergey Pavlovich uses his range. It's absolutely incredible. Like he's, he's able to just... Like you saw in the Derek Lewis and Taito Ibasa fight, he's just able to avoid punches because of the range. He steps back. He he takes really good punches. So that's why this is a pretty interesting matchup, especially with the, the long reach advantage here. For this one, um, there are situations where I think Curtis Blades can get him down. I think Curtis Blades will actually need to put him in the clinch against the fence and tip him over, just kind of like how Alistair Overeem did. Uh, you just need to get him into the fence. Although it is pretty dangerous to get inside that distance, you honestly just need to close it off and then just try and tip him over. Because if you're going to try and go for a regular takedown, Sergey Pavlovich is also pretty strong enough to defend him. And he's and he has that KO power. So you're going to be entering into range every single time you shoot him for a takedown. So I think for Curtis Blades, even if he does attempt to trip on those takedowns, I think he also needs to, to clinch up and like move him towards the fence. Because this is very very powerful he has very powerful hands he can definitely hurt you pretty badly the issue for curtis blades here is the round always starts on the feet so this is a five round fight um, i don't expect it to go to a decision maybe curtis blades actually gets a lot of the takedowns off but i don't know this is a very this is a very split matchup for me i think pavlovich definitely has a really good chance of winning this and i think curtis blades has a really good chance of winning this so for my Okay, so I guess I'll just break down how I think this one will go. I think first round, I think this probably ends in the first round, in all honesty. If not the first round, probably the second round for a Blades win. But I think I actually am going to edge Pavlovich here. I think his rank, like the way he's able to just find people from his range, I think is just super dangerous at this point. My hope is that at least three or maybe around three or four years ago when he did fight Alistair Overeem, he's able to like work on his defensive wrestling and, and hopefully that's no longer an issue for him but i can only hope at this point it'd be kind of me just going out on a limb to say that for this matchup but that's my hope for this i i hope if i'm gonna go with pavlovich here which i think i am gonna go with pavlovich by ko my hope is that he's actually been working on his wrestling because i think he probably figured out that that's probably his main issue um, in his fights so i think if pavlovich has been working on his wrestling 
if Curtis Blades shoots open, he doesn't shoot against the fence against Pavlovich, it can be very, very dangerous because Pavlovich, again, is super strong. He did defend the initial takedowns from Overeem, uh, but Overeem was, again, able to trip him and then basically the fight was over. So I am going to go with Pavlovich here. I think it's too dangerous for Curtis Blades here. Maybe Curtis Blades can maybe endure a couple punches and take him down, but it just seems like against guys like Nganu and Lewis, he kind of, he got KO'd in both of those fights. So in the Nganu fight, especially in the second the second fight, he was kind of like skittish to actually like enter to take it, make a, a takedown. He's just super scared of Francis Ngannou's power. And maybe we might see this with Pavlovich, although there is like a very real disadvantage here for Pavlovich on the ground. Like his takedown defense didn't show too great, but he does have some solid takedown defense. Again, my hope is that he has been working on that. I think Pavlovich catches Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades doesn't shoot in for the best takedown and I think Pavlovich is going to be able to defend that takedown pretty well and then eventually just walk forward because Curtis Blades is hurt eventually just TKO him on the ground hurt him on the ground or if he shoots a bad takedown kind of just flip him over put him on the ground and just land some really good strikes so I am going to go Pavlovich by a TKO in the first round if not the second round but I'm going to go with Pavlovich this one could 100% change too like this is for me this is very 50-50 I, I just think Pavlovich is just very good on the feet and can eventually catch Curtis Blades, but Curtis Blades' wrestling is really good. Pavlovich has so much range here. I'm I, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Pavlovich by by a first round TKO. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I I literally have a bunch of notes here for me to talk about, and I didn't put a winner because I have no idea who's gonna win this fight. But I'm gonna go Pavlovich by first round TKO, probably like a late TKO, like super late TKO. I think he's just super dangerous. He has really good range. He's really good um, at finding the chins of guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Pavlovich for this one, 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you tell me down below in the comments below uh, who you think will win this fight. I think it is pretty 50-50. I can definitely see Curtis Blades winning this fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.